Hey what's up guys, David here with After Video Effects and welcome back to another video tutorial. And here we are in 2020, thank you for your patience and I hope you guys enjoyed your New Year's Day. So today we're going to be creating this missile launch effect using Element 3D and Trap Code Particular. So let's check it out. Okay, so pretty simple. Um, we just got a still background and we got a nice solar flare representing the sun and yeah, just some uh, easy stuff today. So let's go ahead and make a new comp. We're gonna call this missile launch and we'll make it full HD and we'll only make it like two seconds, hit OK. Next, we're gonna make a new light solid and I'm gonna make it red and call this E3D. Let's go ahead and get our element 3D layer and let's jump into scene setup. Okay, so here we are in element 3D. So I'm gonna go and search for my missile. It was in the projectile weapons section. So I might just extend this out a bit. And let's go and get this one. And this is the missile I used. So just the one and for the background environment, I used uh, the first one. And we can even just like brighten it up and just add a little contrast to it. That way it changes the lighting. And we can even like go with a warm light, bring up the intensity a bit. So it looks like that. And that's pretty much it. That's all we need to do. So we'll hit OK. OK, so I'm just going to change this to preview just to speed up my rendering process. And we'll make a layer new camera. Make it 50 millimeters, hit OK. Now we want to uh, just get the back of the missile. So, and then we'll make a new solid. We'll make it black. I'll call this smoke. And we'll get the trap code particular. And we'll just shut that eye for now. And we're just gonna go in here to the utility sections. And we're gonna click this little target icon. And we're just gonna click the back of that. And we wanna generate a new null object. So now there's a position on null object, sorry, behind the ignition area. And okay, so now we want to make a layer new light. We'll make it 0.0%. And then we're just going to copy the position properties onto our light. So now our light is in the exact position of our null object. So we can just go ahead and delete this null object now. Okay, so let's go ahead and change it from emit a type from a point to light. That's okay. And we're going to choose name and we're going to call it light one. Just make it the exact same um, name as your light. Hit okay. And we're just going to drop all these settings down to zero. So velocity or to zero and even the emitters to zero. Okay, and we're going to change it to none. Okay, and then we're going to create a group null. And we'll call this missile movement. Okay, 
And then I'm just gonna hit P, stop the hit the stopwatch, and just move forward and just push it out. Okay. And let's just get a better camera angle. And let's just make sure our light is pick whipped to our missile movement. So there, there we go. Now it's pick whipped. And clearly we're very off, so we can just slide this Z uh, in front of the ignition area. So if we just slide it closer and closer, there's pretty good. So if we take a look at this, we can see we're getting something let's change some of the settings so we want the velocity for motion to be a negative value so maybe something crazy like maybe minus 100 that way it looks like it's shooting off and let's go into the particle itself let's change it from a sphere to cloudlet and let's just leave the life maybe to 2.5 and let's just change, bump up the size here and maybe we could uh, play with the size over life now from our perspectives it looks like we wanted to make it look like as the further the particles are the smaller it is so we're actually going to use uh, one of the presets so we're going to use this like ramp one so that way it looks like it's getting smaller as it's further away and then we can just maybe play with the size random here maybe make it 15 uh, maybe 12 okay and then we can play with this opacity random and let's go into shading and we'll turn on shading for main and we can just play with the opacity here maybe up to like 30 percent and maybe the distance about 90 so something like that okay let's just go ahead and add in our background so I've got a, like a background image I downloaded from Pixabay. I'll leave a link for where you can get it. So I'm just going to rotate this until it matches our scene. So I'm just going to do this quickly. Okay, so once we've got our scene set it up, we can just add in some lights. So we can go Control Alt Shift L. And we can make a parallel light maybe make it a little warm and we'll bring up the intensity and we'll make it shining from this side because if we look at our reference image light is shining this way because of the shadows so we could just shine it this way And we can even just duplicate it and hit T, maybe bring Harvard, the intensity, and we can just bring it this side, maybe about 100. Nice. Okay, so uh, maybe we can make this about 300. And we'll maybe change the color a bit to more of an orange color. Cool. All right, so now that that's done, we can, maybe we can just set up our scene at the moment. So for our missile, we want it to start 
maybe about if we push it right back and we just push it to the side here And as it comes, we want it to uh, just maybe extend off screen. So maybe about minus 3000. It's cool. So obviously, we need to adjust our particles. So why don't we? bump up the particles per second to maybe like 300 first that way get more particles here and then we can maybe go into maybe this area and then maybe we could just like uh, change the size of it so maybe something like I don't know, like 20, maybe 22, and then we can maybe drop the opacity a bit, and maybe adjust the randomness of that opacity. Adjust the shading of our scene here, so we can maybe uh, increase the opacity and maybe just drop the distance a bit so it looks like that and actually we may increase the lives so we'll make it f like 500 looks better and that looks okay so let's adjust our position keyframe so we wanted to maybe extend this here and then as it we want it to look like it's bending out so if we just come over to this one maybe about here and maybe we could like set a keyframe for this and then we can just like go into the top view Maybe just like push it out a bit. So it looks like a Bezier warp. If you guys see that. Maybe just like that much. And we just relink it to make it uh match with our scene here like that and let's put our element 3d above the smoke okay so let's work on our fire so we're gonna duplicate our smoke and we'll label it as fire okay so let's solo it for now we want to make the birth uh, life per second to like maybe point 0.1 so we just have this small ignition here and we want to just change it back to this size let's change it from cloud to sphere and let's just bring the size up even more here and let's change the color to more of an orange fiery look that and let's just turn off the shading for this and let's set the blending mode to add and we can see something happening already let's set the whole layer to screen and we can start adjusting this so let's maybe make a point um, 
zero five and let's just decrease the opacity to maybe about fifty percent and maybe decrease the opacity random. Let's go ahead and add our glow. And let's just maybe increase the radius here and bring up the intensity. Let's change it the colors to maybe like like an orange fiery look color. And we'll set it to A and B colors. Nice. Okay. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. So maybe about 60. Make it point zero three, and for our smoke here, let's just bring the opacity down to maybe like fifty percent, and we can turn on motion blur for our layers, so our element three D fire and smoke. And we can turn on the motion blur for the comp. And there we go. Okay, so we can see here our smoke is a little not getting much motion blur, but we can fix that by maybe adjusting the velocity to maybe minus 200. There we go. Now it's getting some motion blur. And yeah, that's our maybe to like 30. Okay, so as you can see, it's just a matter of adjusting like our settings here for what suits the background. So even though um, I'm still adjusting these um, settings, even though I thought the settings were perfect, but it turns out it's not. So it's just a matter of, of just trial and error. Okay, so once you're pretty much happy with your scene, we can go ahead and add some dust wave elements. So I'm using Video Copilot's Dust Wave. So let's just drag this into our comp here. Let's shut the eye off for now. And let's just see. And here I want the dust waves to start coming. So I'm just gonna time stretch it. And we'll drop it down to like, I don't know, 25. Speed it up. So, around about here, and then we could just adjust this one. So, let's have a look at this. So, let's just scale it up until it fits in our comp here. Let's just draw a mask around the bottom and let's subtract that, hit F, feather it out, nice soft edge here and same, and we can copy that mask and we can just extend it out we can even mirror it so it looks like that and we can just uh, subtract that F feather it out okay we can even overlay these, so maybe screen. And let's check it out. 
Nice. Okay. All right. So maybe I can just. Uh, Add a bit of a tint effect. So color correction tint. Maybe drop down to 50%. Same goes for our other dust element. Cool. Okay, so let's add in two adjustment lines. Control Alt Y and Control Alt Y. Let's name this one CC. And this one, vignette. All right, let's just do our vignette first. So let's get a curves here. And just drop that down. And let's double click the lips mask tool. Subtract it, hit F, and just feather it out. Quite a bit, like maybe 500. Nice. Okay. And we'll add that same curves. We'll add tint as well. Okay, so maybe we could drop that to like 20%. And we'll add a little bit of rich contrast to this. And we can even add a glow to this. So we can go stylize glow. And maybe just drop down the intensity. Bring up the threshold here. Extend the radius. A little bit of detail. That's all I want. Alrighty. Okay. One last final. Uh, detail is our flare, so control Y. Hit OK. We'll just rename this as flare. And let's go into Video Copilot Optical Flares. Let's go into the options. Okay, so here we are in Optical Flares. I think the preset I used was. Uh, crazy light and then I just turned off some of these you know all these green stuff so like the iris all this hoops all that kind of stuff I didn't really like it honestly uh, just didn't find it that helpful so this is just the light itself hit OK and then just place it somewhere about in the top left corner and there you go okay so that's pretty much it um, for the tutorial if you want to change your motion blur you can just hit ctrl k and then go to advance and you can change your motion blur settings here or if you want you can just um, go into the particles itself and there's a uh, if you go into rendering motion blur and you can just change it to the own settings in particular but I'm just gonna leave it as the comp settings for now okay so guys man I am so glad to be back here making tutorials for you guys but anyways guys my name's David I hope you learn interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations Please give a like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video.